nine seconds. Oh, he's hurt. Could he finish him here? Connor McGregor. Wow. Two matches clearly weren't enough for this MMA duo because they're ready to go at it once again. An official announcement was made two months ago, but when is the fight happening and what's at stake for either one of them? If you want to know the answers, keep watching. In this video, we're giving you a roundup of a potential Dustin Poirier and Conor McGregor rematch. Oh, big uppercut there for Poirier. Oh, Coruscant is in a world of pain here. This one might be done. Dustin That's Poirier! It. Before we begin, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin. In the beginning of April, Dustin Poirier signed a contract for a fight with Conor McGregor on July 10th, but this decision has been in the works for a while now, first being hinted at in February. Poirier was speaking on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast, setting a tentative date for June or July, and previously McGregor had also shown interest in a rematch according to certain sources. Now we've finally got a date. This is going to be the third fight between the duo following UFC 257 and 158, and at this point, they're both out for blood. After losing the last match to Poirier, the Notorious wants to give it another shot, but Poirier has his own goals in mind too, and that's a chance at securing the lightweight title. Considering he's on top of the lightweight rankings right now, this isn't an unrealistic idea, and as to who could win, it could honestly go either way. In the past, UFC 257 ended in a surprise win for Poirier. McGregor comes in for McGregor. This could be it. That is it. It is wow. all over it. Conor McGregor. He landed a second round TKO in what was by far the biggest win of his career. The Diamond executed his plan to perfection, attacking McGregor with kicks to the calf, followed by multiple hard punching combinations. With 18 kicks thrown at him, the last one finally caused his leg to buckle and McGregor dropped to the ground. Notably enough, this was the first KO or TKO loss of the Irishman's 13-year career. Before this, McGregor had emerged victorious in the original 2014 match. He landed a KO in under two minutes in the first round, and that's where it all started. Right now, UFC 264 is likely to be one of the most profitable matches the championship has ever seen. This doesn't come as a surprise considering how well-reputed both fighters are. In addition, it's expected to be a five-round main event held at the 155 pounds limit. This makes it identical to the parameters of the rematch UFC 257 while the first fight occurred at 145 pounds. If McGregor comes out on top on July 10th, this will be his first win since January 2020. Alvarez is hurt again. Alvarez tries to level change now, covering up. Well, he's only closed. You see and he's excited to see how it turns out. On his Instagram, he wrote, this is exactly how this was always meant to be, buzzing. As a former featherweight and lightweight double champion, he stands at a lifetime score of 22 and five. On the other hand, Poirier isn't one to underestimate either. Standing at a 27 and six lifetime score, he won six fights out of his last seven. He's also number one in the lightweight rankings right now, with McGregor being five spots below him, so he's definitely aiming for a title shot at this point. I want to be the champ, he says. When you're the champ, you can say you're the champ forever. The belt is currently held by Khabib Nurmagomedov. The Russian lightweight champion confirmed his retirement right after he defeated Justin Gaethje, which leaves the lightweight division wide open for the taking, and fighters are swarming around the title with a fight scheduled between Michael Chandler and Charles Oliveira. Hands at his hips, having oh, a conversation, looking to finish the fight. That's it. Wow. Others are in the running too, including Ferguson and Diaz, even though it still isn't known whether Nurmagomedov is willing to give up the title or not. But Poirier's got his eyes on the prize, and as for who emerges victorious on the big day, only time can tell. That's a wrap for a Dustin Poirier and Conor McGregor rematch. Who do you think will come out on top? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.